on the stock market, you can make a lot of money. And I made over $900, AKA up 132% on a Mara stock trade. I picked up 50 shares and I'm looking to get in on what they call the good old rinse and repeat. When you look and see what I bought today, I picked up 30 shares of this. However, I don't see Mara as a long-term play. That means I want to get in, get up, and get out of the play. So I put on what they call a stop loss, AKA an order on the stock market that will sell all 30 of these if it comes down to a certain point. Because if Mara decides to crash, I ain't going down with the ship. I'm gonna be out of it and then I can move that capital, AKA that cash into a faster moving vehicle and go and make money that way. And this is again, the rinse and repeat. And if you want to know when I buy, hold or sell, hit the like button, I got you right here and hit the subscribe. I'm giving you the plays for free right here on YouTube. However, if you want to get them even faster than that, go and join KG Stock Market University for the gifted. This is where beginners become veteran investors where you can see the live trades and take the courses to see my exact system step by step all of the way. However, I was asked, Keenan, why don't you see something like Mara as a long-term play? Well, one of the reasons is this is a company that can move up 30% in a day and then down 30% in a day. And then they are not turning a profit for reasons that other companies do turn a profit. Let's just use an extreme example. Apple is a company that I will buy for the long term. Why is that? Because I understand their product to the extent that I can see why everybody else is buying it. I just recently broke my Apple Watch. I don't know how. I looked at it and I had it for like five, if not six years. And my screen was cracked. So I went. I didn't try to go and get a new, different kind of watch. I went and got another Apple Watch. Wait, so if Apple already got you in as a customer, you're very likely to go and buy Apple again. So their ecosystem is sticky. It makes you feel like if I get a different watch, it's not going to talk to my phone as well or my computers as well. I'm in their ecosystem, but I'm thinking about this and I step out of myself and I look at it and say, wow, that's a really good business model to keep the customers that you have. And it's called customer retention. Apple is great at that. And then they're also great at onboarding new people. So then they get to be among the top two most valuable companies in the world and turn a crazy profit. I look at Mara and I'm not seeing any of that. I'm not seeing any of the stickiness from customers. I'm not seeing the profitability. I'm not seeing really any of it. But what I do see is that it moves in cycles and it moves in waves, which makes it so I can make some money with Mara. So then that's exactly what I'm going to do. And what is helping Mara to move? It's the big dog, Bitcoin. Bitcoin has recently reclaimed the $40,000 support level, is, which is what we exactly need to see for other things to pump up, aka the crypto miners. These are the stocks that move as a sympathy play for Bitcoin, not on their own merit. Mara is not moving because it became a better company. All these other companies like Riot or CleanSpark, they're not moving because they became a better company, no matter what anybody tells you. They're moving because Coin is moving and then they actually make a lot of money, or at least revenue that they bring in when Bitcoin is pumping up and showing some strength. And they move faster than Bitcoin. So let's say that Bitcoin moves 5%, you might go and see something like a Mara move 15%, 10%, somewhere more. However, the opposite is true as well. If Bitcoin was to crash down, you might see Mara crash down 20%, something like that, but crash more. It runs faster, but it falls faster as well. So we see this as an opportunity to make money on it while we ride the waves. And remember, waves don't last forever. When you are swing trading, aka you getting in, getting up, and getting out, think of a surfer. A surfer gets on a wave. They don't plan to ride this wave until retirement. They plan on riding the wave until the wave is done. And then they go and get on the next wave. Imagine you go to the beach and you see somebody surfing on a wave and you say, wow, that's a cool wave that you're on. You think you're going to come back here in five years and they're still going to be on that same wave? No, they're going to be on a whole different wave. This is how trading is looked at. So with that being said, we're looking at Mara and I want you to understand I got the trident for you so you can see the system that I'm using. Somebody says something that made me pull my notepad out. Hold up. Let's go back. I got this giant notebook right here. Why? So I could bop, bop, bop the knuckleheads. What am I talking about here? The knuckleheads are the people who don't listen, but you have the ability to succeed. Hold up. The knuckleheads are the people who don't listen, but have the ability to succeed if they just slow down and listen. I've been a knucklehead. That's how I could identify the knucklehead so quick. And it used to be a lot fewer than knuckleheads. So now I used to have this little notepad, but this wasn't doing it, family. So I had to get the big one. Bop. That one might give you a concussion though. So hey, it is what it is. So this is the trident method where I will put a stop loss and this is the part that the knuckleheads always miss out. Understand me on this. The stop loss at $14 flat. If it came down there, I'm letting Mara go. Somebody said this, they said, Keenan, a lot of YouTubers, they show when they win, 
but they never show when they lose. You know why they don't show when they lose? Because they don't know how to lose appropriately to be a profitable trader. About 2%, but to get down to the details, about 1.6% of all traders are profitable. Isn't that crazy? That means like 98% plus of them are not profitable. Most people trade lose. Why? Because they don't have a system. They don't know how to lose. But I show you right here, if I was to jump in, let's say at 1450 in the buy range between 14 and 18, I jump in at 1450 and it comes down to 14. Yeah, I lost 50 cents per share. I lost th that little 50 cents. Oh, but I didn't have to ride it from, I bought in at 14 and then it's at 11 and then it's at $6. And I'm wondering, man, what happened? No, no, no. I can only lose up until I get to the 14 level and then I'm out of it. The loss is preset in and limited, but the upside is almost unlimited. So I'm willing to risk a few dollars for the opportunity to make a whole lot of dollars. I hope that makes sense. If that makes sense to you, write that in the chat so I know that you picking up what I'm putting down. Say that makes sense between 14 and 18. Let's call it 1401 to 1799 in that range, right? That's where the green is, where I would buy here. And I can't tell you what to buy, but I show you time and time again that I'm making money doing these things. And I'm only losing a little bit when I do lose. So then how am I staying profitable? I'm following this Trident system. And I will wait if I seen it at 19 to 23. But above 23, I can see it breaking out towards the upside and pushing even faster. This is when people like to get into what's called stock options. Now, towards the downside under 14, people would also be looking towards it to break all the way down towards like 10. And they would be looking towards the stock options again. Let's keep it going, family. I want you to see what is going on in the news related to Mara. And they're saying that Mara Digital, right? The stock squeezes higher because Bitcoin recovers. Like I was telling you, it hit the $38,000 range. You can see it over here. And it got all the way up to the $42,000 range. So people are saying, ooh, but not just people. Institutions always follow the big money so you can see what they're doing. And their money is starting to flow into Bitcoin again. Because like I told you before, they try to shake you out of the play. They try to tell you everything is a scam and you can't make money doing anything and you can't make money doing trading. There's no need to do it. Just pay some money manager a high percentage to go invest in to invest for you when you could easily do that yourself. So they always try to scare you so they can make money off you. It is what it is, right? So let's get into it. This is a lie, in my opinion, right? I ain't gonna say it's a fact, but it looked like a lie to me because I'm gonna ask you if you feel like it's a lie too. Let me know. They said this, the dollar could weaken, which bolsters Bitcoin's further value. Now, I wanna break down why that's a lie. Nobody is using Bitcoin as cash. People want you to believe that especially the news and i don't know why they always push this that bitcoin is like the dollar bitcoin is going to be used to replace the dollar bill that's not the case people use bitcoin like gold they use it like gold where it stores value they want it to grow and go up in value but they don't want to go you don't want to go to the store with some gold you want to just have the gold gaining value for you or at least storing it and protecting the value so nobody is using bitcoin as a dollar this is called a lie from the way that i see it do you plan on using Bitcoin as a dollar? Do you feel like you're going to go to the, get a new car or pay your mortgage or something like that in Bitcoin? Is that really what you believe people are doing? Obviously, there's a few. Come on now. Hold up. Let me hit the button on them. Stop the cap. Stop the cap. So here we go. Cypher mining. Put this on your watch list. This one is up 18%. This is a penny stock. So I said this. If you see Bitcoin move up, let's call it 5%. You might see Mara move up 10%, but you'll see Cypher mining move up 20%. But the same is true towards the downside. If Bitcoin come down 5%, Mara might come down 10%. Cypher Mining might come down 20%. So this one is super hot. I'm talking about, you hope you bought your oven mitts for that one, baby. But again, the Trident method, if you want me to do it, let me know. With the Trident method, I'll knock that one out of the park again. But if I didn't knock it out of the park, I will only lose a little bit because I pre plan the losses so I can limit my downside and make my upside unlimited. So now... Put this one on your watch list too. This is Clean Spark, another one that's pumping up because of Bitcoin. So if you want me to do Trident method, like the three layers, right? Like the old school gum, red, green, and then red again. If you want me to do it on Cypher Mining or Clean Spark, let me know in the chat, family. But hit the Moo Moo app. And again, we got some of the most signups I've ever seen because people are loving this interest rate in free stocks where you can get 5.1% plus an extra 3.1% if you sign up today before it runs out. You got a few days to do this, so go ahead and do it and then put $100 on the app so you can get the free stocks. And then what they're going to do is give you 8.1% on your uncash, family. This is the best deal around that I've seen. So go ahead and sign up for that. I'm going to put the links for this in the top comment. And again, if you're on the fence, do it. So you can get the ball rolling because we got moves to make. You got moves to make. I see you over there. Let's get it and take care.